What's up dudes? I'm Evan and welcome back to Minibus Minecraft and today we have a super special five things that you may not know about Minecraft episode numero dos and today is more about mobs and uh, destruction of items and slippery floors and mob spawners and things like that. So let's get right on to it. Oops. There we go. Uh, first off is how to make a mob spawn trap. So I'm using this block of sand to symbolize my, or block of dirt rather, to symbolize my um, my mob spawner. So what you want to do is you want to uh, dig all around the mob spawner. It can be bigger than a 3x3 three three hole, but maybe even a 5x5 five five or something like that. But you want to keep your mob spawner here on a single um, supporting block. So the mobs, when they spawn, will just fall down into the water, which I have not placed yet. So let's get started placing water. You want to make sure the irrigation system is always flowing down towards the hole that you have, like so. This way the skeletons won't be able to get blocked and they will always fall down right to your destination which is right here. Now second thing you want to do is you, you want to place a single block, oopsie daisy, you want to place a single block so that they cannot hit you. Um, this mob spawner is going to be more for uh, skeletons and zombies, not necessarily spiders. So uh, they'll get dropped off right at this hole. They can't hit you, but you can hit them. So I'm going to show you how this works. Let's get our eggs ready. And I'm going to do a combination of both spiders and let's set our time. Oops. Time set one. I'm going to do a combination of skeletons and zombies. So let's put those there and zombies as well and go back to our hole I got my nice handy dandy upgraded cheating sword that I'm gonna use to uh, farm these guys so you just hit them like that and it's really simple all the uh, drops and XP will come floating down the water and it's just really effective if you find a spawner if you don't want to kill it People so say it's like gay and stupid and you shouldn't do it, but I disagree with that. If you can make it, then use it to your advantage. Next one, number two, is the gravel. You can destroy an entire stack of 64 gravel with only one torch. So if there's cobblestone right here, regularly you would destroy the cobble and then destroy each block of gravel one by one by one by one. But this is a much faster way. So all you have to do is destroy the block that the gravel's sitting on and the um, the torch catches every single one of them and they disappear they light on fire I guess you could say oops I need that back let's get this and this alright next is plugging a water hole I, I used stone for this one and a torch for this one a torch can plug a water hole just as effectively as a block can like so and this multitask for you there therefore you can light up your area and destroy the water source because you hate going against the um, source draft so next I'm gonna switch into survival for number three because it has to do with Enderman and the uh, how can how they cannot see you if you're wearing a pumpkin on your head so let's switch that let's go ahead and grab this pumpkin uh, we simply put it on our head like we do let's take all this armor off you put it on your head like you would a helmet like so and whoa they've really upgraded this last time I was on it it just showed like two two eyes and a mouth just like you would see inside a pumpkin now it kind of looks like a halo type dealio that is really cool I never even thought about that so what next I want to do is I'm gonna get my sword go ahead and spawn in and get me a diamond sword and go back into survival and we will spawn in enderman and as you can see you look them in the eyes they will not attack you they see you but you know they they won't attack you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pumpkin off now and he teleported over here come here you little and he comes right at me and then if I put this back on I think he'll still yeah he still chases me but yeah, it works just like that. Let's move on to number four. I'm going to leave this on because this looks absolutely awesome. Number one, two, three, four, five. Number five, I always mix up four and five, 
is the slippery floor with the slab under ice. So as you know, ice is really slippery and you can slip and slide over, all over the freaking place as you see here. But if you place any type of slab, it really doesn't matter. On top of ice, it, you will still sl slide on the slab, excuse me, as you can see. And it works just like regular ice would. It's really quite interesting. I'm probably going to make this a, an addition to my floor in a Let's Play or something. But then everything will be off balance and I can't put my chest on the ground because the half slab thing, it'll be like half a slab up. But anyway, enough ranting about the slab location and placing and everything. But that's it for today. And come back next week for a preview of the next one right there. You can't see it. Right there. Right. Right there. Oh, you saw a portal. Yeah, I know. It's actually a really cool episode about nether and skeletons and things like that. So stay tuned for next time. Subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe button on my channel page. It really helps build the channel. And when we get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to either give out a PSN or Xbox code or a Minecraft account um, code. So if you want that, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my Let's Play tomorrow. Bye.